everybody, welcome back to 1776 or Bust. As you can see on the table, my P01 is here. Uh, one of the things that I try to do with all my guns, I do try to do as much as I can in an affordable fashion. What I mean by that is that a lot of times when I get a gun, you know, from the factory, there are certain things about the gun that I want to change right away. Now, one of the things I definitely will change on all of my firearms um, is the, the sights. Uh, you know, there's a lot of manufacturers that are making guns that are now putting, uh, you know, decent quality sights, whether they may be fiber optics. Some are actually uh, putting, you know, night sights on them that you have to pay a little extra for. But one of the things that I, I always like to do is I like to try to pick sights that I like as opposed to leaving that up to the manufacturer brands that I definitely like. I, I absolutely love Ameriglow. I, I, you know, I can't say enough. You know, Ameriglow has great customer service and they have a great product. Um, you know, they do use the Trigicon um, uh, tritium inserts. So, I mean, it's just a really top-notch, good quality sights uh, from that company. Again, I, I do like True Glow. I love the TFX Pros as well. Very good sight picture. Like the idea of having the combination between fiber optic and, of course, the tritium inserts as well. I've also used XS Big Dots in the past. Um, on this particular model, I didn't want to do it because I wanted to ex extend the actual rear sight a little bit further back. But I, I do like excess big dots. I'm hoping one day they'll actually take that big white dot and maybe put some uh, fluorescent paint on there or something just to kind of brighten it up, especially for my aging eyes. And again, my eyes aren't that bad, but for whatever reason, it tends to show up better for me when there's some sort of color on the front. So what I went ahead and did was I went, wound up purchasing a, a set of TFX Pros uh, you know, I was planning ahead, so I had ordered them ahead of time knowing that I was going to buy this gun. You know, that way when it came, I'd be able to put them on. Now, just to put this disclaimer out there, all the sights that I have for my firearms, with the exception of my XD Mod 2, I actually put on myself. Um, I don't have a press. Uh, I don't have any fancy um, gizmos to help me with that. So a lot of times it's hammer and punch, uh, whether it be nylon, plastic, brass, or, you know, hopefully not brass because brass mars a little bit, in my opinion. Um, especially depending on what this is made of. But, you know, a lot of times I'm just pressing them, I'm, I'm just hammering them out. And um, in this case, I did that with these. Uh, in my opinion, it came out really well. Uh, I will tell you the rear sight was a bear to get off. And unfortunately, I did have one small mishap, which is the first time in about, boy, uh, uh, you know, maybe 12 handguns that I've actually screwed something up. Every other time has been absolutely no issues whatsoever. But, um, as I was hammering the rear sight here, uh, or at least, you know, pushing the rear sight, I don't want to say hammering because people say, why would you hammer your sight? But as I was uh, using a punch to hammer it back into place, um, I was distracted by my, my kids who came in at that particular moment and I wound up uh, dropping the slide on the floor. So uh, before it hit the floor, it hit the corner of my table that I'm on right now and I actually marred my slide. So I have to say, I, I said to myself, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> because I was so pissed off that uh, I did that because again, it's a stupid mistake. So this disclaimer goes out there. If you're going to do this to your own pistols, always please make sure that you're paying attention to what you're doing and always make sure to take your time because if not, you're going to screw things up, which, you know, unfortunately I did, but I'm going to try to move on from that and I'm going to try to not let it bother me, even though I have OCD issues. But anyway, um, just taking a look at the sights uh, again, the TFX fit really nice on this pistol. Uh, I do like the fact that they extend it a little bit further back here. And of course, when you look at the rear sight here in the back, you'll notice that the rear sight does extend all the way back to the hammer. Now, if you're familiar with the PO1, what you'll find is that the, the sight in the rear is just terrible. It's really small, it's stubby, uh, and it doesn't extend all the way back, which is something that a lot of people have complained about. And that is, I think, why CZ with their Omegas, you know, changed the sight picture out a little bit. So for me, this works perfectly. Um, it is more of a, of a sight picture that I like in regards to the functionality of it. Now, again, if you're not familiar with the TFXs or the TFX Pros, you'll notice that you do have a very nice sight picture, your three dots. Um, in the rear, you have your two green fiber optics plus your two green inserts in the back for tritium. So at night, they function very well and they function very well in the daytime because these are very bright. Now, in regards to the front, in the front, you have that orange dot in the front, which is new for that TFX Pro. The old TFXs uh, don't have that. They just have the white. Uh, it's not necessarily the best, um, but it's not the worst either. It shows up pretty well. But again, I wish they would kind of maybe make it a little brighter than that orange because sometimes it's, it is difficult to catch it. However, you also have the, tr uh, the tritium and the fiber optic front as well. And again, these are both, uh, or both sets are so uh, sealed in a sapphire crystal or sapphire crystal. So that does keep it protected from, you know, elements and oils and all that other great stuff. So you shouldn't have a problem with them. 
But other than that, I mean, the sights are really nice. Uh, again, oh, I lost my focus here. Uh, again, uh, when you look at the gun itself, what you're gonna notice is that, um, and again, my, I'm losing my sight picture here. Hold on one second, guys, my bad. There we go. Um, so again, this, this is a non-edited video. But uh, you know, again, what you see here is what you get, and I think it's a really nice sharp picture. Um, it looks really good when you're looking at the sight picture. And if you're looking for quality sights, I would definitely recommend that you go with something like this. Again, you're getting the best of both worlds. It sits pretty high, so if you wanna do one-hand manipulations, you should be good to go. So right now I have what I feel is the complete handgun. I have a nice set of uh, grips that make the, uh, the feel of the grip uh, a lot better on this pistol. And on top of that, I also have a set of not only daytime sights, but as well as nighttime sights. So great sights, love the pistol, love the sights. I'm very happy with my P01. So I hope you guys have a great night. Hopefully you're staying safe out there. And as always, freedom is never free.